A writ application filed by former Sri Lankan Attorney General Dapuladi Livera was taken up for consideration on Monday in the presence of President of the Court of Appeal Nisanka Bandula Karunaratna and A. Marikar. In his petition, Dapuladi Livera said that the statement he made to the media was made in his capacity as the Attorney General in the public interest. He noted that as per the documents and or files made available to him at the time, there appeared to be a conspiracy in respect of the Easter Sunday attacks and however, the identity of the relevant perpetrators was not revealed. The former Attorney General said that he gave detailed instructions to the Inspector General of Police to carry out further investigations into the matter. The petitioner expressly stated that save and accept for the documentation and or files made available to him at the time in his capacity as the Attorney General, the petitioner has no further knowledge with regards to the relevant facts or circumstances. The former Attorney General pleads that it is extremely clear that there is strong influence being applied upon the first to third respondents namely the IGP, SSP of the TID and the OIC of the TID to act in blatant violation of his legal rights. The petitioner fears that there is a serious and imminent likelihood of the first to third respondents and or any one of them arresting him. Former Attorney General Papula de Oliveira said that at approximately 2 p.m. on the 21st of April 2023, a group of persons said to be police officers had rung the bell at his residence while banging on the door and were calling out for him. He stated that thereafter, persons at his residence had informed the said persons at the door that he was not at home. The petition notes that notwithstanding the same, the said persons remained outside the gate of the petitioner's residence and when the petitioner's son returned from work, the said persons had tried to follow him into the residence by force, wrongfully and or unlawfully and all without any authority whatsoever. Having been unable to enter the premises, the former Attorney General pleads that the said persons remained outside the premises for a long period of time while continuing to ring the bell and bang on the gate. Former Attorney General Dapula de Oliveira further stated that in the event he is arrested, there is a grave likelihood he would be detained without having access to bail. He highlighted that he may be incarcerated with hardcore criminals, many of whom he was directly or indirectly responsible for putting behind bars whilst he was Attorney General. The petition noted that in the circumstances, the petitioner justifiably fears for his life. Upon considering the submission, the Court of Appeal granted four interim orders sought in the application. An interim order preventing the first to third respondents and any one or more of them from arresting the petitioner pending the hearing and determination of the matter. An interim order preventing the first to third respondents and any one or more of them from arresting the petitioner. An interim order preventing the first to third respondents and any one or more of them from questioning the petitioner with regards to anything done by him in the course of discharging his duties in the capacity of Attorney General pending the hearing and determination of the matter. An interim order preventing the first to third respondents and any one or more of them from recording a statement from the petitioner with regards to the interview statement given by him in his capacity as Attorney General. Former Attorney General Dapula de Libera was represented by President's Counsel Romesh Risilva along with Attorney Shonaka Kure and Dimitra Besekara.